Okay, so this is actually getting a little bit ridiculous now. This strategy that I'm going to show you in this video has helped us to book five appointments in the last week already, and we're just starting to test this out. We haven't even fully optimized it, and I'm going to show you some ideas that I have in this video on how to actually fully optimize it. So you could probably get this to 20 or even 30 appointments in a single week if you really scaled this up and you found something that was working consistently. So before I get into that, if you're not familiar with me, my name is Ben Lister. I help agency owners by documenting all my learnings all my findings on this YouTube channel, similar to this one, that currently help me to make about multi-six figures per year. Okay, so the system that I'm walking through today is through Notion. Now, Notion is something that people might be familiar with. It's where you basically have this like notes app that's kind of a little bit on steroids. You can have like all these crazy things going on. And in actual fact, a lot of people don't realize that there is a feature in Notion, which is really, really useful for actually doing outreach. And so this is something that I very quickly built an example of the kind of thing that we're running right now, um, but it isn't in its full detail. And I'm just kind of going a bit overboard just to show you what's actually possible with something like this. And so let's say, for example, you have someone who lands on this page. The first thing you want them to see is their actual offer, right? The offer that you have. But of course, we want to have some kind of personalization in there, right? So there's a, a variable here for the first name, for the business name, things like that. And you could really wrap this up to have a lot of different personalization in there. You could have a one liner, like an icebreaker. So you talk something about that person's business. But again, it's not really necessary to do that because a lot of the work comes down from the actual presentation of the, the Notion page itself. And so I've basically mapped this out similar to how I would for like a funnel page, but it doesn't really matter too much on, you know, if you do like this version or you do like cold email, you can kind of test both out and see what works. And so you can embed videos into this page. You can embed uh, images here. So I'm showing how many appointments we have. You could even embed a Calendly page straight into the actual Notion page itself. And so you can really make this like a VSL where someone is just going through it. You have a video at the top and it talks about different things. And then you can personalize this a little bit further. So you can come in here and change someone's name, for example. You can change the business name. Like I said, you can have so much stuff in here. And Notion is kind of crazy because they have like so many different things in here. You could put like tables in here, like bullet points. You can make it like super clean. You can make it different colors, like all sorts of stuff, right? So this is basically like a web page that we have inside of here. But then you might be wondering, like, I could just do this with a VSL, right? I could just send someone to a funnel. But the big difference between this and whatever else you might be using is that if we have it set up like this, okay, and we have a few variables in here, what you can actually do is come into this page. You want to duplicate it. It will automatically go into private. And then you want to change the person's name, right? But I actually have this set up in a way here. And so what you can do is you can have something that looks a little bit like this. And what we have here is a list of uh, leads that are on the right hand side. This is just some generic leads. And so when we go down to the page that we've just created here, we can start to put this information here, which takes like two seconds to go and do. This takes me actually a little bit longer because I have to put the, the, the apostrophe S on the end of it uh, so that it makes sense. But now that we have this here, what we can do is we can click share, we can go publish, just publish it to, uh, to the web page. But don't worry because no one can actually see this on Google, for example. So if someone searched your, your business name, it's not gonna show up. Then you go to share and you can grab the person's email and you can put it in here. Click on this, click on invite. And then I don't actually wanna click this because I don't know if this might be someone's actual email address or it might bounce or something like that. But you click invite and then I think you wanna change this not to full access, but can view. Even if he has full access, you can only change this specific page. Anyway, click invite. And then it basically he gets invited to the actual, to the page, right? And you might be thinking like, what's the benefit in that, right? He gets invited to it. Okay, like cool. Maybe, does, maybe he has a Notion page, maybe he doesn't. But what happens is you get an email that looks like this. So I forwarded this one to myself, right? But you get an email that says something along the lines of uh, Ben or the person, obviously, whoever's created this page is ready to work with you on. And it would say, you know, John, we can deliver 30 to 100 appointments to uh, Smith's Bakery's calendar in the next 30 days, or you don't pay. Obviously, this is the offer. And so they see this straight away in the actual subject line and it gets delivered here. Now, if you're thinking, what's the difference between doing this and doing, you know, cold email, the benefit of this is that the Notion email servers that they have are basically flawless. There is absolutely zero issues with email deliverability on these pages. So for example, if you send someone a Notion page, if you send someone a Loom through their platform, these have perfect deliverability because they have to deliver, right? If you, for example, think of like Fortune 500 companies, they are really big corporations, 
I don't know how they actually structure it. To be honest, it doesn't really matter. But they have to send out certain emails to their customers that have to deliver. If they end up going into spam or you know people don't see them, then it's like a really big legal issue, right? And so for whatever reason, they have these domains and these servers and this email structure where these emails have to deliver into someone's inbox. And so you can really start to, I don't, for lack of a better word, you could really start to abuse this. You know, you could have a lead list here of like hundreds, if not thousands of leads, and you could pay a virtual assistant to come in here and just create page after page after page. And if you're thinking, you know, do you need a, a paid Notion page to do this? You actually don't. Notion is free for individuals. So you could give a virtual assistant your individual Notion page login, obviously just create a new Notion page, and then you have access to doing this, right? And the best thing about this is because even if Notion blocks you from actually sharing the emails or you know sending those um, those those emails out, you can just create a new free account because there's no paid system here. There's nothing that we're really doing. If you really want to take it one step further, you can obviously um, incorporate a VPN in there, so there's no way of tracking you. There's a whole bunch of stuff you can do to basically evade any sort of ban that would be given to you. But yeah. If you have a system like this in place and you are doing things here, so we have like no issues with being like banned or anything so far on Notion. Um, obviously that could be something that you face, but because it's free accounts, it doesn't really matter. But if you are going and sending these out on a consistent basis and you're tweaking the VSL, so maybe you're sending out a hundred per day and you're gonna do one with uh, one version, so 50 with one version and then another 50 with a different version and you can just test it out, just track the numbers, right? So you obviously know um, people who actually booked a call, if they actually, you know, when they do book a call, obviously mark them down so you know which VSL or which version it comes from. If people have emailed you, for example, maybe you could drop a link here to say, uh, you know, if you're interested or have any questions, just drop me an email or maybe there's a, like a, a link to the actual email account so they just click it and it goes straight to their email provider so they can just quickly type out an email. Um, but there's a whole bunch of stuff that you can do. You could probably get really, really sweaty with this if you wanted to and really sophisticated. I'm pretty sure you can have some kind of like pixel on Notion, some kind of code that actually goes and um, registers if someone has viewed it. And so for each page that you could have, you could have a code or a pixel that fires to you and says that this page has been viewed or, you know, this trigger has been activated, it's been triggered, right? And so then you know people that have actually clicked on it and, and gone through. So then you can start to test out different titles, different uh, subject lines in the actual email that you go and test. And so all of this stuff in here, can be easily tested out. And so the possibilities with this are pretty endless. And I'm really, really excited to see like where we can go with this and the kind of numbers that we can bring in with this because it's doing pretty well so far. And I've no doubt that it's gonna make us a lot of money on our side. And I've no doubt that if you incorporate this, you're gonna make a lot of money as well. So if you're looking for more clients for your agency, similar systems to this one, then go ahead and click the first link in the description. It's not some email opt-in, there's no free training, there's no webinar, there's no none of that bullshit, right? It's literally just a video of me explaining what my company does, how I've done this many times before, and the kind of results that we get. But yeah, you don't have to click it. I don't really care if you do or not. I'm gonna make these videos either way, to be honest. But yeah, hope you liked the video, like, comment, subscribe, all that fun stuff. And yeah, see you in the next one. Cheers.